This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on what is anatomy and physiology. When you think anatomy, think structure. When you think physiology, think function. When I speak of anatomy and physiology, I am specifically referring to human anatomy and physiology. And you may be asking yourself, what is anatomy and what is physiology? I will break it down simply. Let's start with anatomy. Anatomy is the field of study involved in the structure of the human body. One of the difficult things to understanding anatomy is understanding the language or the terminology associated with anatomy, which is derived from Latin and Greek. So a lot of these words may be unfamiliar to you, but just like any other language, you can learn it by exposing yourself and understanding the context by which the words are used. If I refer to the right pectoralis major muscle, I am speaking about a very specific chest muscle. If I refer to your gastrointestinal tract, I am referring to parts of the organ system involved in digesting slash absorbing food, like your stomach and intestines. The human body displays many regular patterns in terms of muscle structure, bone structure, organ structure, etc. And anatomy is involved in observing and naming these structures, which gives us a language to speak about the human body's structure. If I refer to the right humerus, I'm referring to a specific bone of the body. And each structure of the human body may have many other common features. For example, the humerus of each arm has a little ridge at the distal end, which we refer to as the medial epicondyle. The aorta, the large artery that provides passage of blood leaving the heart, typically has three arterial branches which have specific names. When you think anatomy, think structure. Physiology is the field of study involved in the function of the human body. Okay, fine, we have muscles, but how do they work? How does the brain pass a signal along the brainstem which eventually moves your arm? Physiology dives into the underlying biology and chemistry which helps us understand how the human body works or functions. Many people confuse physiology with psychology, which are two different fields. Psychology is the study of the mind and its behavior and is focused on the mind. So to recap, whenever you are confused about what anatomy and physiology means, remember, when you think anatomy, think structure. When you think physiology, think function. 